guy, Brett Papa here, also known as Papa Stash. But we're going to give you a definite outline of what the chords are. So let's zoom in for a closer look and get to this. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a D chord. Your first finger is going to be on the G string second fret. Your second finger is going to be on the second fret as well on the E string. And your ring finger is on the third fret of the B string. You hit from the D string down. Now the next chord we're going to do is I'm just going to take this second finger and I'm going to put it on this third fret. All right, you can hit the D string open as well. All right, nice spooky sounding chord. And then we're going to go to what looks like the bottom of a B minor chord. So you're going to be on, ring finger is going to be on the fourth fret G. You're going to be on the third fret with your second finger B string. Your first finger is going to be on the second fret E. And then back to the spooky chord. All right, so what you can do is you can just do all down strokes. Beginning, you're gonna go uh, four times, right? Two for the intro, two for once the words start between the D and here. Then you're gonna go to the B, so we're gonna go. Then what we're gonna do, that was just two, that's assuming that the, the verse had started. And you're just down stroking two groups of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 eight. Then you're gonna go to that B minor looking chord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back to this one. Right, so all together we got. All right, so now there's another part goes from D again that's two groups of eight to G minor so that's third fret E to E bar with your first finger your ring finger is going to be on the fifth fret A and your pinky is going to be on the D string fifth fret you're going to hit all of them so we got go to a B minor which you're going to take your first finger and bar A to E on the second fret your second finger is going to be on the third fret B and your ring and pinky are going to be on the fourth fret of the D and G so you got right you're going to go eight one more and then you're going to go to that G minor again So it's going to be eight on the G minor, and then you're going to hit a G minor once and let it ring. So all together we got. Now, keep in mind on all this, this is just the outline of the song. You know, there's different ways you can do it. You can be, you know, the beginning. Right? You know, and do different strums.
instead of doing mutes right there, you can. So that's just another way that you can do it. Now let's get into the chorus. All right, so the chorus, same chords. Um, you can either use a D down here, like the power chord version, or the D down here. But the chorus is B minor to D to G and then to E minor. Okay, now on this one, you're not gonna do the G minor, you'll do a G major. So we got. This time, if you're gonna do the downstroke version, you're only gonna do counts of eight. One, two, uh, sorry, B minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That goes twice through. And then at the end of the second time, you're gonna do that same ending, B minor to G minor, that you did before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right? And then it just cycles through the song again. Now there's only one other part, and that's a bridge. Now the bridge, is gonna do the same thing, you know, kind of sound the same. So we're gonna start with a D this time. We're gonna do eight counts on each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. B minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we're gonna do that twice. So you're going D, count of eight. Now you can also strum it. Right? Goes through that, so think eight counts per chord. Go through the progression twice, ends the same way. to the G minor actually and then that's the whole song other than that it's just you know doing another chorus and you're and you're good so thanks again for watching okay so keep in mind you know I'm doing the basic beginner just all down strokes to learn the song but keep in mind that you can also do strum patterns throughout the whole thing kind of make it your own way. There's lots of versions of them playing the song acoustic online, so check it out and have some fun with it. All right, catch you next time.